All right, and as we mentioned, we do have a special guest with us today, uh, Gabe from Treehouse Marketing and Development. Gabe, your company, you guys in your labs have created a cool plugin. It's a multi-step for lead forms. We'll talk more about that. Uh, but thank you for taking the time to join us today, Gabe. Thank you, thank you, Jay. And uh, yeah, we have created a very unique and uh, magical, as you put it, plugin uh, to allow people to create multi-step lead forms on their websites with existing Brilliant Directories functionality. But I think before we're gonna go into that, we w we should mention a little bit, what is the lead system on Brilliant Directories for the new people, right? So for the people that are new and uh, for some people that um, haven't used this piece of functionality on the Brilliant Directory system, the Brilliant Directory's lead system is essentially a wonderful feature that allows website visitors to connect with professionals or businesses that offer different services that they may need, right? And it allows us to connect them automatically uh, through this system and match them. The Brilliant Directory's lead system is usually used more on service-driven websites, right? It's used by a lot of different types of people like fitness trainers, contractors, uh, event planners. Yeah, I think this is a great list you put together here. Basically, any, any directory site where the visitor is trying to find or connect uh, with businesses. So these could be like yellow pages type of sites or local business directories that uh, you know, list businesses for a certain region. More so, I think it works when it's, you know, trying to connect a consumer or person with a, a type of professional. For example, like if you're looking for a bakery, a bakery doesn't need to pay for a lead for someone looking for muffins and donuts generally, but a lawyer or a contractor or an interior designer, um, they may be more apt to pay for leads. And that's something a consumer is going to want to fill out a form uh, to get a quote or a bid or to get connected with that type of a professional. Um, the, the industries are, are infinite, but it's generally that type of a professional that we see most sites using the uh, lead system with, the lead features with. Yep, yep. And uh, let's take a look at what benefits come with the out-of-the-box uh, lead form, right? Some of the benefits here are that the lead form that Brilliant Directories offers you collects all the basic information that any of those professionals that Jason was just mentioning usually needs, right? It also works well for just any type of general inquiry uh, for any type of niche, right? And uh, it's ready to go, right? And it has great on and off toggle settings that people can use to turn off different fields in the lead form. Yeah, and I thought before we got into your multi-step form, and I'm not going to drag this out, but I'm just going to quickly show an example of how the default lead form works, just in case we have some users here who are not too familiar with it. So uh, this is our demo bootstrap site here, and I'll just click on John Smith's uh, profile. And you notice here, and you can disable these, it just depends on the type of site that you're running, but you'll, you know, we notice things like send a message, and we also have the send message form in the sidebar here, sending John Smith a message is a lead for him. It's it's a consumer or someone who's interested in his services. So I'll just go ahead and fill out uh, this lead form here real quick, and then we'll see how John Smith uh, receives this uh, lead form, this lead inquiry. Uh, so I wanna meet Sunday at 9 a.m. and I'm located in uh, New York, New York, New York and I need a lawyer fast. Do you do dog cases? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna submit this. And what's cool about the demo site is I can actually log into John Smith's uh, profile. So it says here, your message has been sent. So John Smith now got an email from the system saying, hey, there's a potential lead for you to purchase. You can give these leads to your members for free. That is certainly an option. Most sites that are lead focused for their members, they're charging a nom nominal fee for that lead. Uh, but when John Smith is logged into his dashboard here, he can manage his leads. Um, he can click on the link in the email as well to get to this that he received. So here's the lead I just created. I'll click on view more. And the lead price for John Smith is, is $10. Here we can see the person's name, some of the information. I'm located in New York. I need a, a lawyer fast. And also the origin page. It was filled out on his profile. So he knows that this person is probably interested uh, in him. 
Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and purchase this lead. This is our demo site. It's a little slower on the uh, the payment processing because it's using dummy data, but I'll just go ahead and, uh, but what's happened is John received um, an inquiry on his profile. Um, he got an email notification saying that there's someone interested in your services. He came back to his profile. You, the website owner, have set the lead price uh, to whatever makes sense on this for this industry. In this case, it's just 10 bucks for John to purchase this lead. Um, and after the lead is purchased, he'll get an email and also in his dashboard here. Um, when you purchase the lead, uh, you can then see the email address and the phone number and any other fields you had previously chosen to hide uh, during the lead process. So now John can contact this, this person and he has an opportunity to close a sale or land a new client with this lead. So uh, that's the default system for those of you who have, may not be familiar with it. Great explanation, Jay. And when you have many questions that need to be asked on your lead form, right, the form that these visitors are filling out, most multi-step forms take users through specific stages uh, in order to submit their inquiry. And as you can see, here's a quick example of what that multi-step form is. And uh, let's talk about a few different uh, scenarios where they might be useful. So multi-step forms could be really useful when you're trying to ask for more data in order to buy the lead for your members, right? You're asking the visitor for more information in order to provide that to your members. Some members in some niches will require more information in order to be able to decide whether that lead is something that they want to invest in or not. So, you know, that's one of the benefits. Uh, Multi-step forms allow you to divide those questions in a more pleasant way. It can also allow you to ask for more detailed answers. Uh, it's good when you are asking more than you know six uh, questions, six to ten questions in a form, and it's also very, very useful when you have different lead forms for different categories on your site. As we all know, there's directories for every single niche uh, that you can think of, and a lot of times directories have more than one category, and you want to be able to create a lead form that is very specific with very specific questions to that category. And you know that that's one of the use cases of multi-step forms here. And of course, you want to use this uh, after you know, absolutely have tried the default functionality within Brilliant Directories, and you know that you've outgrown the features that Jason just showcased. And these are really good points. And at the top point there, when your members require more data in order to buy the lead, uh, you know, if you have to add more questions, um, let's say it's for construction and you need to ask the visitor, is this for a residential or a commercial project? Because some professionals only do residential or commercial. So they need that information, that additional information in order to make a buying decision for that lead. Maybe the lead's expensive, maybe it's $50 or $100 um, a lead. Um, what's good is when you ask more questions, that lead becomes potentially more valuable because um, you know more about the project, you know that the person is potentially more more committed to following through um, and receiving a quote or a bid because they've they filled out more questions in that questionnaire. So uh, these are really good uh, points here, Gabe, uh, on when to use a multi-step form as opposed to the simple default form that comes with BD. Yeah. Uh, some of the benefits of using the multi-step form um, to go into those is that when you have so many questions and you have them on a really long form, it can really provoke form fatigue and a lot of psychological friction. When you divide the form into different steps and stages, it can avoid that. It can save that. It can save you from losing a potential visitor from filling out your form. So this, th that's one of the benefits, right? You avoid form fatigue for your users. Then also, usually multi-step forms, they have progress indicators, right? So when people see that they're advancing and that they're moving forward, it really encourages to move forward and finish completing the form. Another benefit is that because you're dividing the form into different steps, you essentially hide the last steps, right, until you get to them. And it allows you to put sensitive information in those last steps where users are already a bit more committed to going all the way. And at a first glance, uh, forms seem a lot less intimidating and effortless to complete, right? So those are the multi-step form benefits Right. Basically, it makes the form less daunting, right? When you're, when you're staring down the barrel of, of 30 questions, uh, you might not be so inclined to fill out a form. Uh, but if you split that up into maybe five steps of six questions or whatever the number might be, uh, that kind of alleviates uh, some of the, the scariness of, of, of uh, potentially filling out that form for the user. 
so yeah, you know, now love to just showcase everyone here how our multi-step lead form plugin works. One of the great things, and, and maybe something that we didn't mention, Jason, is that multi-step forms, you know, you can create them for anything, but our plugin is a multi-step lead form plugin, which essentially connects with your default Brilliant Directory's lead form. Awesome, yeah, so let's just take a look at the first visual of what this lead form plugin, multi-step plugin looks like. So essentially here we have the default Brilliant Directories form uh, with five different steps, divided into five different steps. In this particular case, this particular client where we installed the plugin on is requiring us to fill out this first step, which is only asking for the category, right? It looks very easy to fill out, right, and move forward. So let's try it. Now let's select category here. Let's click next. Next step is adding in your location. There we go. There we go. So uh, let's select a member, right? Now on step three, we have to choose who we want to send this lead to. And uh, we click next, and we start filling out the rest of the fields on the form. So let's just say Jason is the reference name, Gabe is the contact person, my phone number, next. This is a test message, right? We're filling out the last step of the form. Select a date. We select that the quote is required. I'm not a robot. We click that we're not a robot. We click submit. And the lead starts processing as usual on the Brilliant Directories lead system. And now that lead went into the uh, Brilliant Directories lead engine where it matched the lead to the specific person that we selected in this particular case, right? So that's the front end visual of what this plugin can allow your forms to look like. And just to go over the back end a little bit, essentially we're using the regular Brilliant Directories lead form that you can all find in your Brilliant Directories uh, dashboard under toolbox, form manager. It's your get matched form. You can look, look it up like this and modify it with all the usual Brilliant Directories features. And once you've done that, we would essentially allow you to select that form through our plugin, right? Our plugin is called the lead step form plugin. And in this plugin, you are able to select any of your get match forms because you can create multiple forms for different categories. But in this particular case, there's only one. And when you select the form, yeah, essentially okay. all of the form fields that are in your get matched form would show up on the left hand side first, right? And then you would be able to organize all of the different form field steps uh, into the different sections and stages that you'd like on the form. You can easily drag and drop different form fields onto uh, specific steps. And you can also add as many new steps as you want to the form and then just hit save changes. And that's how the plugin works. Essentially, you would just embed our plugin onto a regular web page within your Brilliant Directories website and uh, and launch your own multi-step uh, lead form. So that's really cool. So in the beginning, all the fields are on the left-hand side, and then you start creating the steps and putting which fields go into which steps. Uh, exactly. Uh, right. You can you can omit fields like that one if you didn't want it. Um, exactly. And then, you just leave on the left-hand side what you don't want and move to the right what you do. And and your tool takes care of like going to the next page and the previous page and things like that. Correct. Yeah. Correct. It does. Oh. Uh, let's take a look at it here. I don't want to put you on the spot. Do you have another example that you can show us as well? Yeah, let's take a look at this website. This website is a contractor directory website. And essentially, they wanted us to create this menu here at the top with all of the different types of categories that they have. And each one of the categories redirect people to a lead form with specific questions for this category. For example, you know, if we go to roofing here, uh, we can take a look at this uh, page. So this is a lead form. You've customized this just to ask questions related to roofing, but it's, it, is the lead, it is the lead form just modified only for roofing here. What is the purpose of this project? What, when do you need to start this project? All right, let's go to the next page here. Mm -hmm. What type of roofing material are you looking for? So this is an example where now we're getting specific and this is maybe there's a roofer that only focuses on metal as opposed to tile, right? And that's exactly. gonna help them with their, their purchase decision of that lead uh, to make sure the lead is valid for the services they offer. What type uh, of property? I mean, it 
you know, it depends if it's an entire house, if it's just a, a condo. It's it's more valuable if it's uh, maybe like a commercial warehouse, right? It's it's very huge. So awesome. it can provide more detailed insight for the for the member receiving the lead. But yeah. Right. It, it seemed to me on the first example that you showed us, it was a bit more customized because you got to choose a specific member, uh, which it, which is not normal. That's that's beyond the normal leads the lead form stuff. This one seems like it's more geared to just asking question after question until the lead is submitted. Is that right? Yeah, correct. This one is more geared toward that. It's more out of the box, so to speak. Got you. That first one that you showed us, um, I use Thumbtack and I use Home Advisor, and that's kind of how it works. You search for the service and then you can request quotes into the ether from anyone or it shows you members who provide those services and then you continue your request sending it to them. So that's really high level stuff there. Can we continue with this form? Can we get to almost step five? We don't have to submit it because I know we're doing a test here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What kind of work do you need help with? You know, we can select the category here. What is the nature of the project? Complete, replace roof, uh, install roof on new construction, repair existing roof. That way they can get an insight as to you know how big the project is, right? Um, are you aware of any leaks or damage to the roof? Uh, let's just say yes. And of uh, course, found... the person who created this form is obviously familiar with the questions to ask. Correct, um, yes. Okay, because great. they're of course coming to the website and seeing the category first. They're being redirected through. Um, a call to action to request a quote for uh, roofing and gutter services, right? So yeah, just depending on how granular you want to get with these with forms for categories, you can really get really very specific uh, across your whole site. Very cool. So guys, uh, yeah, we're, we are doing a little plug here. If you want to reach out to Gabe, you can email support at treehousemarketing.org. You guys obviously do more than just the, the lead form. You guys have lots of cool tools. Um, and also Gabe is in the Brilliant Directory's uh, marketplace. And if you'd like more information on the lead form, uh, here is the link here in our marketplace, the plugin, uh, partner plugins. But thank you so much, Gabe, for for sharing that with us. I'm, I think that's super cool what you guys built. Um, I see its simplicity. I see its complexity. Um, I see its different use cases. So it's really awesome uh, that, that you guys made that uh, available.